Hi and welcome to Steve's Kitchen. It's Sunday, so we're continuing this Thai series with a hormok, which is basically a custard curry. They're absolutely delicious. On my recent trip to Thailand, I was introduced to the hormok tule and the hormok pla. We're making the hormok pla today, which has lovely tender bits of fish in it. Let's get on, it's very simple. Now we'll start our little curry cust off with a couple of eggs into a bowl. Then I'm going to take a tablespoon of red Thai curry paste. Just pop that in there. Give that a little whisk through. I'm going to balance the spices with a little bit of sweetness. I've got some palm sugar. You can use a regular brown sugar will be fine. Just going to pop in about a teaspoon of sugar. I'm going to add a tablespoon of fish sauce in there as well and a cup of coconut cream. And now we want that lovely thick coconut cream, not the thin stuff. Now I'm gonna add in a pinch of kaffir lime leaves. I sliced mine up very finely because they're quite tough, but they give a very distinct flavor to this dish. Now let's just give that a beat through. So we've got this lovely rich coconut curry sauce. Now you can steam these curries in a little ramekin or bowl, but we've gone for the traditional banana leaves. And I'll show you how to make those. You just cut out the circle of the banana leaf. When you've got two circles, lay them so the strips are going in opposite directions, just to give it some sturdiness. Next thing, we're just going to take a little skewer and break it in half. And then we take one end of our leaf like that. Now you could staple this, but I'm just going to pop that in there back through and out the other side. And then repeat that on the opposite side and then the other two corners and you'll end up with a lovely little boat or serving dish like this. Now I'm going to lay a little bit of white cabbage or Chinese cabbage in the bottom of these bowls. And then I'm just going to take some Thai basil. I won't bother chopping the leaves up, I'm just gonna break them off and put a few in there and they give a really distinct flavor. Next, I've got some fresh coriander, which is beautiful and aromatic, and I am going to sort of dice this up a little bit. I'm just gonna take a little pinch and sprinkle it over the top. Now, the key ingredients are the fish, and this is the talipa that I bought in the market just around the corner the other day. I got some lovely big chunks, and I just want to drop them in there, nothing too small. So pieces about that big. Now, I'm being fairly generous with the fish because I've got plenty. And I also bought some fresh squid, so we're just going to take a little bit of squid, pop that in there as well. Again, I've just coarsely cut this up. Now I'm going to take my curry custard and I'm just going to divide it up into both the bowls. And then I'm just going to lift these up and pop them in my tiny, tiny little steamer. Now these are the only ones I could find here where I am at the moment. So I'm going to have to do my curries one at a time. So let's get a little pot up to a steam, pop these in. I'm going to steam them for about 20 minutes until they're set. You can use a skewer just to test them. Now, thumbs up for the world's tiniest steamer. I'm sure you've got better solutions at home. Now, if you've been to Thailand before and you've got a favorite food, comment down below because I'd love to hear what it is. And if I haven't had it before, I'll be checking it out. Now, there is our beautiful hormok pla, beautifully cooked. And we've come over to the window because if you can hear, there's a storm coming outside. I'm just gonna take a little bit of coconut cream, pop it on the top there, some fresh little chiffonades of kaffir lime leaves, and a few slices of red chili, just to decorate off the top. Now I know I'm not gonna get away without giving this a taste, even though I've got the second one still on the pot, Michelle's gonna have to wait. I'm gonna tuck in. Get some of that beautiful fish. Here goes. Oh, wow. Oh man. That is so packed full of flavor. It is absolutely one of my favorite dishes from Thailand. This is so, so delicious. You can't go wrong when you introduce spices with coconut milk and fish. Anyway, share the love, give this one a thumbs up, and I will see you very shortly for the next installment of Thai cooking in Steve's Kitchen. See you next Sunday, be good. I'm truly honest when I say this is delicious. You really have to give it a try at home. Now, <laughs> If you want to see the full Thai series, you click on the link up here. If you want to see something else from Steve's Kitchen, there are over 500 recipes on the channel. Go and check them out, have a little scout around. Don't forget, subscribe and comment. I'd love to hear from you. Be good, see you next time.